All right, this is 48 Conclay, and uh, for the advancement of science and uh, the arts, <laughs> uh, I'm going to be sacrificing a Glock magazine here. Uh, this is a Glock 29 10-round magazine. Um, I was at a gun show the uh, a couple days ago. Uh, it's probably a week now. Um, I overheard people talking, trash talking, how the Glock magazine is just a polymer piece of crap. And, I mean, clearly, if you look, there is an insert in there, and you can see that there is a metal insert. And I'm not, you know, preaching to be a Glock fanboy or anything by that means, but there is a reason why they do have the polymer coating on it, and uh, it is to help with feeding, and it is to help with uh, durability, actually, surprisingly. I mean, a lot of people diss it for being polymer, but the, <laughs> the durability, uh, it lends itself to being able to take impact pretty good. Um, but today I'm just going to torch this baby up and we're going to see what is left behind in the Glock magazine. Got my trusty torch. Okay. You're not going to be able to see the flame very well. There you go. Alright. Let's start melting. Uh, the durability is pretty good on this thing. I mean, the polymer's still kind of hanging in there. Oh, we got the follower falling apart now. That spring's gonna pop out real soon. Adjust the camera here. a pretty good sizzle on her. Okay, my torch got pretty hot there. I'm going to let her cool off for a second here. Let this kind of sizzle on for a minute. Uh, maybe flip it over and do just a few different things as far as uh, angles and whatnot. You can really start seeing the shell there. Um, I know that thing's going to be hotter than fuck. Oop. It's burning pretty good.
Need to do some burning on this side here. Okay, try some more. It's really taking quite a bit longer than I thought it would. To tell you the truth. You just see it sizzle in there. Okay, uh, I'm going to pause this for a minute and kind of get away some of the fire. Alrighty, uh, did a little bit of cleanup work afterwards with it, um, <clears throat> and I quenched it because it was hotter than fuck. Uh, but here we go. This is what is inside of a Glock magazine. Actually, about the same, maybe a little bit. Well, probably a similar gauge to any other uh, magazine, and it has some similar patterns there for shapes inside, and that's for reliability for feeding. Um, but yeah, so yeah, there is a complete. I mean, it's not completely like the bottom part. Uh, there's a little bit more polymer down in here, uh, but this is the shell of a Glock mag. So, and then you got the spring, yeah, which actually isn't too hot. Um, and you can see all the polymer. Might be able to melt this back into a new Glock. Well, that's sticky as fuck. But yeah, so, alright, thanks for watching and uh, partaking in part of this experiment. And uh, yeah, take it easy.